In a few seconds, these celebrity panelists will try to uncover some highly unusual secrets. So if you want to guess along with the panel, cover your ears and close your eyes. Here comes our first secret now. Hi, I'm Jawal Watson, and I'm from Maryland. I own the fastest water turtle in the Derby. Peach pies, apple pies, and cow pies. It's time for Figure It Out Wild Style. Our celebrity panel's job, figure out why our contestants are here. The catch is they can only ask yes or no questions. And here's our panel now. He steals the cheese from mouse traps from all that Mark Saul. He chews his gut with his mouth open. Shane Sweet. He plays Marco Polo with sea lions from the journey of Alan Strange, R.J. Smith. And barking in from Blue's Clues, Steve Burns. Let's watch. They try to figure it out wild style. And here's your host, Summer Sanders. Thank you very much and welcome. Oh, yeah. Keep cheering. Keep cheering. Welcome to Figure It Out Wild Style, where we've taken Figure It Out and we let it off leash. <laughs> means it's crazy. So hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, panelists. You ready to play the game? Oh, yes. yes. You want to meet our first contestant? Woo! Yeah. That's what I thought. Please continue to put your hands together for Jawad Watson, our first contestant sitting right here. Say hello, Jawad. Hello. Hey, Hi, Jawad. Yeah. Hey. Say hello to the panelists. Hello. How you doing? All right. Now everybody's All right. friends. We're going to introduce you to the most important part of the show. Everybody say hello to one of Billy the Answer Head's animal friends, Billy the Answer Goat. There he is. Isn't he beautiful? All right. Right over here on Billy the Answer Goat is what you have to figure out about Jawad. And right now it says blank, 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 in blank. We gave you one. Now if you say one of the words on Billy the Answer Goat, you'll hear one of these sounds. And we'll turn it over for you. I just want to say Billy the Answer Goat again. <laughs> I'm just going to start stuttering the whole time. All right, there are three rounds for each round that you, Jawad, stump those guys over there. You're going to win a prize. And do you know what you win if you stump them throughout all three rounds? The grand prize. That is right. Jay, what's the grand prize? A trip to Colorado. Visit the distinctive style of Aspen Meadows located on the edge of Colorado's most famous mountain town. Enjoy exceptional accommodation and service at the heart of the Rockies the Aspen Meadows. I love Colorado. I'd love to go to Colorado. I hope you win that grand prize and then maybe I can go too. <laughs> I think that's probably a no. All right, here's the rules of the game. You guys over there, yes or no questions only from the crazy hairdos that yeah. we have going on over there. Right? Yeah, very nice. Very, yeah, loving it. All right, if you can't think of a yes or no question, do you know what to do? Pass. Yeah, say the word pass. We'll move on to the next panelist. If you get confused by their questions or just by the way they look, you just go ahead and talk to me. I'll talk to the judges and we'll come up with an answer, okay? We're a team over here. You got that? Mm-hmm. All right. Remember the charades and, and the clues and a bunch of wild and woolly surprises will come in and out throughout each round to help you out. They're your friends. Okay? Be one with them. One minute on the clock, Mark, because you got this sprouting thing going and we're starting with you. It looks so beautiful. Ready? All right. Go. Now, did you invent something? No. no. Shane. Is this a talent that you have? Yeah. No. 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 RJ. Um, is it something you're a champion at? Are you the champion? Judges? Yes, he is. He is. Okay. Does it, <laughs> does it involve sea animals? Yeah. It does. Woo! Uh, RJ's on a roll. Does it involve dolphins? <laughs> no. Steve. Does it involve... Here comes your first clue, you guys. Look at the monitor. Right over here. Right over here. You see it? Here's your first clue. Steve, yes or no question? Okay, just off the top of my head. Does it involve a cheetah? Yeah. No, no it doesn't. It um, doesn't. Mark. Does it involve having to do with spots? Having spots at all? Spotted? Spots? No. 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 Shane, think Does about the clue, you guys. Does it involve... <laughs> Okay. Hold that thought. That sound means the end of round number one. It also means that Jawad has taken home his first prize. I know you want to know what it is, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, Jay, what is it? First up in the panel through round one, Jawad will take home skateboarding to the next level with a Santa Cruz skateboard power fly. Low lasting boards that give you nonstop pop. Please remember to wear your industry approved safety gear by TGS. I think that looks pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Do you, you, you want that prize? Yeah, he wants it. He'll take it. All right, before we go on to round number two and give Jawad another chance to win a prize and stump the panel, 
We're going to give a randomly selected member of our studio audience a chance to win something, too. And that lucky audience member is Amanda Bloater. <laughs> Amanda's a little shy about that. Okay, it's my favorite part of the show, you guys. It's the secret slime time. Here's how it works. If our panelist performs the secret slime action, they'll get slimed. Amanda's going to take home a prize. And, of course, we're going to love it, right? Yeah. That's what I thought. So, panel, if you hear this sound, uh-huh. The helmets on, but to tell you the truth, there's so much slime up there, there's enough to actually cover a room full of penguins. <laughs> and a large room, a large room full of a ton of penguins. Okay, right over here is what you figured out after. Actually, we need to know what the secret slime action is. So, Jay, tell us what the secret slime action is. The secret slime action is thinking about coconuts. <laughs> okay, right over here is what you figured out after one round. <sighs> Nothing, guys. Blank, 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 in blank. Over here on the Clue Recap board, didn't invent something, no dolphins, no spots. A lot of no's on there. Let's get some yeses. Let's get some something good over here. All right, round number two, one minute on the clock. Shane, we're starting with you just because you have an orange squiggly thing going down your forehead. Indeed. Ready, go. Okay, I'm going to cut right to the chase. Does it involve sea monkeys? <laughs> no. <laughs> RJ. Is, is it in the water? Yes. Yeah. One of the words of the answer? Blank, blank, water, blank, in blank. RJ. Uh, does it involve whales? Whales? No. no. Steve. Okay, does it involve going very fast? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys like that? <laughs> no. What'd I do? Now, Jawad, what was it that you told me before the show? Who did you want to see slime? <laughs> he wanted to see Steve slime, so he was very Just happy. Just for you. Steve, do you want to know what, what, you want to know what secret slime action is? Yep. Um, I was thinking about coconuts, and I know you were. We could all tell. It was How on your you mind. Know that? We can read your mind. Let's check it out again on replay, courtesy of Slime Cam. Yeah, yeah. Coconuts all over your head. Slime all over your head. All right, because Steve got slime, remember Amanda from our studio audience is going to take home a prize, but we need to know what it is. Jay, what is it? An original animation film from the Royal Rat movie. Tommy and Tony are leaving their play theme jungle adventure and coming to your house. We stopped the clock at 30, 39 seconds. It looks cool. It's awful that I laugh so hard when they get slimed, but it's kind of funny, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. 39 seconds. Steve, you ready? Okay. Go. Do, does it involve going very fast? No. Is this some kind of pet? Yeah, sorry, that's a yes. That's a yes, Steve. Uh -oh. that's, it does. Very okay. close. Is, is it a race of some sort? Yeah. Okay. Do Here comes your next clue, you guys. Here comes Bailey, the clue orangutan. Coming out for your next clue. Hello. Next, Bailey. Hello, Bailey. So, how you doing? You shook your head? Thank you. Thank you very much, Bailey. Steve, pass the clue on down. Think about your clue. Hi, Bailey. Okay, uh, so it's a hat. Are you faster than a hat in water? Are you faster than a hat in water? No. Lark. Okay, still think about the clue, you guys. That means the end of round number two. Bailey is excited about that. And that also means that Juwan's taking home his second prize. Jay, yeah. what is it? Invite your friends over to have fun on this 67 inch sleek, best head hockey table, electronic motor, and all the accessories from Sports Grind. I love that game. You like that? He loves that game. He loves that prize. All right, guys, this is what you figured out after two rounds. A little bit better than last time. Blank, blank, water, blank, in, blank. Over here on the Clue Recap board, no whales. <laughs> it's a race, and Steve has a green, slimy nose. Yes. And it just, it just keeps getting slimier, because it's all funneling right down into your nose right there. I'm, I'm tremendously slimy. <laughs> That's great. OK, Mark, last round. One minute on the clock. Think right. about that clue that you have in front of you. The Charade Brigade will be in and out to help you out. Ready? Go. Does it have to do with playing dress up at all? No. No. Shane, did you make something to enhance the speed of something in a race? Does it? No. no. RJ. Uh, do you copy a certain animal? Do you do something like imitate it in the water? You imitate it? No. no. Here comes the strike brigade. I will say. Help them out, you guys. 
Crawl. Okay. Slow. Um, run. No. Creepy. Slow. Oh, crab. Uh, slow. Turtle. Slug. Creepy crawl. Turtle. Turtle. Okay. Okay. Blank, blank, okay. Water turtle in blank. Steve, yes or no question? Okay, do you swim with a turtle? No. Fine. Mark. Do you make turtles wear hats? No. Do you Shame. raise turtles? Yeah. Uh, do you raise cer a certain type of racing turtle? Certain type? No. RJ. Uh, think oh, about bad. your clues, you guys. Think about your clues. Steve. Faster turtles in water turtle racing. <laughs> I don't know. On the right track, though. Mark? Okay, hold that thought, you guys. Final guesses. That's it. Blank, blank, water turtle in blank. And Mark, we're going to start with you. Fill in the blanks. All right. Do you dance with <laughs> water turtle in, in Thailand? <laughs> Shame. Taught something water turtle in. <laughs> I don't know, guys. Um, oh. <laughs> do, do your turtles wear hats? I don't know. I know you're pretty slimy, but you got to pull together for this one. Uh, I really slimy water turtle in love. <laughs> For Derby. Derby, the fastest was the cheetah. It's all coming together now, right? <laughs> we'll give it, give you some time to sink in. We're gonna remind everybody all the prizes Juad's taken home, but there's one guy in the house that knows them all. I don't remember. Do you know who that person is? Jay. Jay. Our friend Juad is taking home NHS Santa Cruz Power Play Skateboard Package, the Sports Wrap Hockey Table, and a trip to Aspen Meadows in Colorado. Our own little derby right here. Now, who's this? Winky. Winky, and who's your other turtle that's under there? Sonic. Sonic, how'd you come up with these names? I named Winky because she winked a lot, and I named Sonic because he was fast. Of course, of course, no explanation needed. All right, we have three turtles under there, color coordinated with your guys' outfits, because you know we're all about color coordination. You get the orange, you two, RJ and Shane, get the red and yellow for Steve. Okay, you ready? You gonna lift up the bucket for him? Okay. Whatever turtle reaches the outside first is the winner. Come on. Come on. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a ton of more animals and more slime on the way, so cover your eyes. Flip with your flippers, your ears with your tails. It's here for Juan. Here comes our next contestant. Hi, I'm Lisa McBride, and I'm from California. I invented a backpack for collecting dog waste. They sure did, but they get one more opportunity to redeem themselves. You guys want that opportunity? Yes. Yeah. You know, I think you probably need to meet somebody really important in order to play the second half of the game, right? Probably. Yeah. Yes. Put your hands together, please, for our next contestant, Lisa McBride. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. You have beautiful hair. Thank you. You're welcome. Would you like to say hello to our slimy panelists over there? Hi. Hello, Hi, Lisa. Lisa. How you doing? How's it going, Lisa? <laughs> Let's remind all the folks at home what Lisa's secret is. She invented a backpack for collecting dog waste. <laughs> all right, right over here is the secret that you guys need to figure out. Right now it says blank, blank, four, <laughs> blank, blank, blank. I'm sure you didn't already know that just by looking at it. But remember, <laughs> there are three rounds, and if you stump them through all three rounds, do you know what you're taking home? The grand prize. I thought she knew. <laughs> I thought you'd know about that grand prize. It's a pretty good prize, Colorado. All right, Mark, you're the lucky guy again. We're starting with you. One minute on the clock. Ready, go. All right, did you invent something? Yes. What are the words in the answer head? 
Invented blank for blank, blank, blank. Mark. Is it for one of your pets? No. No. Is it for one of your pets? No, that's right. Shane. Kaylee, so what did you invent? No, I'm just kidding. Um, <laughs> did you invent it for a large animal? No. Uh, did you invent a type of machine? Here comes the first clue, you guys. Ooh. Open up your boxes. Look in your boxes, take it out, Ooh. check it out. RJ, yes or no questions? I do. Oh, um, I'll pass. Steve. Do you have some sort of collection? What are the words in the answer head? Invented blank for collecting blank blank. But do you have a collection? No. No. Mark. <laughs> do you? Sorry, Steve. <laughs> do you collect shells? No. Shane. Does it have anything to do with a large moose? No. <laughs> RJ. Does it have anything to do with monkeys? No. Steve. Does everything... Hold that thought. That sound means the end of round number one. It also means that Lisa's taking home her first prize. I'm so excited. Are you? Yes. Jay, what is it? First stopping up handles for round one. Lisa will take home $100 with the Toys R Us Jeffrey Dollars. Somebody's taking more fun. Yeah, Toys R Us Jeffrey Dollars. A great gift idea because they're as good as that at any Toys R Us store. Okay. She's on a roll. Stumped them through round number one, but of course we know what this opportunity, what this time, what we do now. It's a secret slime action. We're going to give another audience member a chance to win a prize. That lucky audience member this time is Curtis Carballo. <laughs> All right. Jay, tell us what the secret slime action is this time. The secret slime action is having an orangutan bring you clues. <laughs> This is going to be good. All right, here's what you figured out after one round. Invented blank for collecting blank blank. Over here on the Clue Recap board, it's an invention, no monkeys, and not a collection. No monkeys. No monkeys over here. Maybe some monkeys over there. OK. One minute on the clock, round number two. Steve, we're going to start with you. <laughs> You're so slimy. I'm so very slimy. Is it cold? It's cold in everywhere. OK. Ready, go. All right, I know you don't have a collection, but is this an invention for collecting bugs? No. OK. Mark. Can you do it with four or more people? <laughs> no. Shane. Can you do it with your friends? Um, Judges? Yes. Yes. Does it involve sports of any type? Here comes the next clue. Here comes Bailey, the clue orangutan. Yes. Yes. We all love you. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> RJ, we're on you. Think about your clue. I, ooh. Bailey's so cute. Does it have anything to do with uh, an act? Ooh, I'll pass. Steve. Does it have anything to do with school? No. Uh. Mark. Does it involve the color red? No. Shame. No. Does it involve packing? No. Uh, does it involve insects? No. Oh. Three seconds. Did you invent a bag? Invent a bag? Judges? Um, no, but very no. close. And that sound means the end of round number two. It also means you're taking home your second prize. On a roll, right here, Lisa Ish, taking home her second prize. Jay, what is it? Yamaha's DGX portable keyboard, the freshest sound of the hippest jam, hip hop, techno, rap, and more. It's your music from Yamaha. All right, you guys, two rounds. Pretty good job, but this is it, the final round. This is what you figured out after two. Invented blank for collecting blank blank. That didn't change, did it, for round number one? Okay, right over here on the clue recap board. No bugs, no bugs, no monkeys. Okay, nothing to do with school, and I love Bailey. And I love Bailey too, Bailey, you're so cute. Okay, our clue orangutan. Mark, we're gonna start with you, last round. One minute on the clock. Ready, go. Do it, pass. Change. Chicken. Okay, you guys want to know what the secret slime action was? Sure. Having an orangutan bring you a clue. <laughs> all guilty. They're all guilty. Let's check it out again on replay, courtesy of Slime Cam. 
Yeah. It's a beautiful moment here. Figure it out, Wild Style. Yes, yes. All of them, all of them got slow. Look at the flow of the green slime. Beautiful. All right, because they are by slime, that means so nice to our studio audience is taking home a prize. Jay, what is it? An authentic animation film from the Rugrats movie, oh, yeah. The Rugrats Game is on the loop with the newest Governor Pickles Prize. Thank you, Jim. Faces are covered. I love when the faces are covered. Okay, 58 yeah. seconds left in round number three. Shane, we're going to start with you. <laughs> Ready, go. Does it involve being cold and green and mushy? No. <laughs> okay. Does it involve a paper bag? or? No. Steve. Does it involve uh, a <laughs> No. <laughs> Here comes the charade brigade. Help them out, you guys. One. Walk, crawling, um, doggy, leash, yeah. collars. Oh. Oh. One of the words in the head. Invented blank for collecting dog blank. Mark, <laughs> yes or no question. All right, can you put this in a bag? No. Judges, no. Shame. Is it a large object of some sort? Um, it what? No. Mark, I mean RJ, sorry. Does it involve food? No. Steve, okay. think about your think about your clothes you can while the slime is still dripping on you. Slime drops keep falling on my head. <laughs> um, does it involve uh, a way to help clean up your dog? Does it involve yes. a way to help clean up your dog? Yes. On the right track, you guys, but no more conversation. Final guesses. Invented blank for collecting dog blank. Mark, we're going to start with you. All right. <laughs> you obviously invented an apparatus for collecting dog Callers. No. Shane. <laughs> you invented machine for collecting dog hair. No. RJ. Uh, you invented a camera for collecting dog pictures. All right, Steve, it's up to you. Uh, I just feel sorry for you with that slime. <laughs> I, did you invent a backpack for collecting... <laughs> Oh, 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 no, the pressure. It's here. You invented a backpack for collecting dog poo. <laughs> Because you were so close. Tell them what it is that you do. Invented backpack for collecting dog waste. Waste! I'm sorry, we don't say that word. We say waste. Let's hear from Lisa. She's taking on the grand prize, along with two of the prizes. Do you want to hear them again? That's the prize on Jake. Lisa's taking on $100 worth of toys and worth of dollars, the Yamaha portable keyboard, and a trip to Aspen Meadows, Colorado. We've got her invention right here. I know everybody's psyched to hear about this. I think it's a great invention. So why did you invent this? I invented it because I got annoyed when um, owners would let their dog poop on your property. Exactly. exactly. Waste okay. on your property. <laughs> show, show us how it works. Um, well, if your dog does its waste, yeah. then you would take out a bag and a shovel. Puppy dog poop. <laughs> and you would scoop it up. <laughs> In the plastic bag. <laughs> Into the bag. It's fake. It's fake waste. And then if there's no trash can, you can just shove it right in the pack. Let's hear it for Lisa. Awesome invention. That's all the time we have for today. We'd like to thank everybody, both our contestants, our celebrity panel, Jay, the audience, everybody. We'll see you next time on Figure It Out Wild Stuff. A promotional consideration provided by Sketchers Lights Up Your Life with S Lights. Sneakers and boots that light with each skip, step, jump, and hop. Come play with Sketchers and Kids for Bucker. And by Mary Kate and Ashley, get interactive with the new adventures of Mary Kate and Ashley for Game Boy Color and Dance Party of the Century for PC. Figure It Out was recorded in front of a live studio audience in Nickelodeon Studios at Universal Studios Florida.